Hello, stream. Happy Tuesday. Of course, right when I, right when I start stream, the music stops playing. <laughs> um, but hello, we're gonna continue Omori today. We're about, um, probably about five hours in. I think it actually says here on the little... Okay, yeah, four, four hours, 45 minutes. We're still in the prologue, evidently. I don't actually know... I don't actually know what all the chapters are or anything. But let's let's try to remember what we've done so far. So we've got one zone kind of complete. It's complete. Uh, there's like side quests and stuff that I never got around to, but uh, basically up until this point, we are Omori, who is, is living in this very colorful and like childish uh, sort of dream world and uh, these are our friends and every once in a while when we get to a point in the story which we might be at now I'm not sure uh, we go back to the real world where everything's a lot less colorful um, and then uh, we're, we're sort of dealing with something we don't really know what it is yet um, but hello Desper and, uh, all we've really done so far is meet all of our friends, climb a ladder all the way to the moon, <laughs> and then help a, a, a depressed space captain, uh, get over his, his ex a little bit <laughs> by finding a mixtape in a junkyard. You know, like a, a normal... A normal straightforward story. We also fought Pluto and then uh, helped him open his own uh, public transport business. You ready to get real sad? It might be a little early to get real sad. I, there's like this decline. Um, I don't know if we'll get to anything truly sad in today's stream, uh, but we'll try. We'll try. Um, I'll heal. Is my volume up a little high? I don't know. It seems it seems a little loud. Um, where are we? <laughs> I'm not sure where we are right now. Ah, okay. So here's Basil's house. I think we probably checked here at the end of the last stream, but I'll just go. So. The, the main plot point we're, we're chasing right now is that our friend Basil, who has green hair and wears a flower crown and is very nice, um, is missing. We don't know where he went. We've found several sets of bloody footprints. At least that's what they look like. Uh, my, my biggest complaint with pixel art, and I have a lot of complaints about pixel art. <laughs> <laughs> is that it's hard for me to tell what things are supposed to be a lot of the time. It's like I see red dots on the ground. Those could be footprints. They could be flower petals. No idea. I don't think they're flower petals though because I think the the flowers on Basil's crown are like white flowers. But let's see. I don't remember what we were doing. And I think we have to talk to Mari to see our quests. Let's see. We're at the playground. Oh, there is a quest here. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Alright, hello Burly. What's your quest? Oh, look, we're all playing cards. <laughs> hey, Van, come here for me. I like Van, who's just got, like, candy stuck in his back. Huh, did you want something, Burly? Yeah, stand right here and look that way. Okie dokes. Aubrey, come here. I don't even remember if this is a side quest or what I'm supposed to do next. Aubrey, 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 Aubrey. 
What's with that sassy tone? Okay, I guess that was supposed to be read differently, but whatever. Come on, we're best friends! Now you see that big guy over there? I know who Van is. <laughs> Great. Go on and give him a good whacking for me. Jesus! My new fishing game will not be pixel art, no. I have considered... This is like a far off thing that'll probably never happen. But I have considered trying to do something 2D, um, like, hand-drawn. Just because I think, um, I, I've been so interested in 2D animation. But considering the fact that I have not practiced it at all, um, it would, it would be impossible, I think. <laughs> okay, always with the questions. Can't you do something without thinking for once? Go on, smash. We should not be hitting Van with a baseball bat. <laughs> Is this what he wants? Is this what you want? Oh, that's so mean. Okay, there, I did it. Now what? Do it again. Do it till I say stop. This is abuse. Okay, but what am I doing? <laughs> no questions, only smash. I mean, Van does not appear to be hurt by this, though. You're getting somewhere, I think. Come on, you can do it. Stamina. How long do I have to keep doing this until I say stop? Help, my arms feel like noodles. Speaking of which, it's National Pasta Day. At least that's what Grubhub told me right before I used it to order a bunch of pasta for dinner. <laughs> I don't think Grubhub would lie to me. Just gonna abuse this poor character here. I think I'm gonna pass out. Please, just one more smash. Hiya! Aubrey gained 50 juice. Now, is this like a, a maximum or is it she's restored 50 juice? Because we all should have been at full health. Uh, nothing really. I was just bored. But honestly, this is pretty boring too. <laughs> Burly is a tyrant. Hey, at least you got something out of it. I'm still bored over here. <laughs> Come on, Van. Let's play some tetherball. <laughs> Van, you don't need to stay with Burly. They're not good for you. <laughs> okay, so we've learned um, Aubrey's skill. Is that a flower puzzle? Oh yeah, I forgot we had this. Maybe Neb will finally notice me now. Oh no, I said his name. Please pretend you didn't hear that. Thank you for the flower puzzle. Here's a gift. I picked a bunch of them earlier. Aren't they pretty? Got a daisy from Daisy. That's very cute. Alright, now was this a charm? I forgot the color codes for the different kinds of items. Let's see. Oh, it used up all of her juice. But she does have more now, I think. Daisy? Plus 10 heart. Wearer starts happy in battle. Does anyone benefit from being happy in every battle? I feel like Kel probably gets some sort of skill. But, uh, I don't think... I don't think we have that yet. Alright. Um. Eternal Banana. Is that all the quests we've got here? I guess we can check with Mari. Um, we can check our quest and see if there's anything we just need to turn in. Why won't Senpai notice me? Because <laughs> he only loves puzzles.
All right. Let's check. So this quest, it doesn't look like Basil is anywhere in Vast Forest. I wonder where he could have wandered off to. Oh, okay. Rabbit killer and then Hector. All right. Because I have seen playthroughs before, I know where Hector is. And I know that we cannot reach him yet. But you also love puzzles? <laughs> I really like puzzles too. Is this... anything? Oh. You are afraid of spiders. Oh. Can I do anything about this? Is Aubrey afraid of spiders? Okay, everyone's afraid of spiders. Oh, right, we have the train ticket. I put it in the stupid notification. <laughs> I know where we need to go. I remembered this before I started- oh my gosh. I was trying to sprint and I couldn't line myself up with the path. Um, is it- now is this the way to the train station? That's the question. I don't really remember where it is. I know it's- no, that's the space. I think it's south of the playground and then to the east. That's a cool way of presenting the fear. Yeah, we were afraid of ladders too, but we got over it with the help of our friends. Crowley just laid down with a big sigh. Oh no, the bunnies. <laughs> I forgot about the bunnies. <laughs> we're, we're stronger now though, like they shouldn't do that much, right? I would be surprised if the enemies, like, scaled. But I don't actually know. I, I just would... I don't think they put that much thought into it. We found some candy just, like, on the ground, I guess. Is this leading me to the train station? Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Oh, this leads me to the other ladder, I think. Which they won't let me climb for some reason. Can I go up the ladder now? Oh! Wait. This is a different ladder. Okay. Very foggy here. Oh. Kel? can throw things from these platforms, I think? Oh. Alright. Spaghetti! <laughs> Coincidentally, I had spaghetti for dinner. It was just- it was spaghetti noodles with a garlic butter. Ooh. Another key. Let's see if this one has a secret underneath. A hole. There's a hole here. Reach into the hole? You felt someone hold your hand. The- a lot of the people that I watched play this did not know about the key holes. Um, propeller ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. Um, so I- I haven't seen most of them. So that'll be a nice- a nice little surprise. Ah, uh, yes, some delicious fruits. I don't think we need any fruit, but we'll have some. Mari's picnic basket. I don't know that we have anything really to save, but... Fancy seeing you all the way up here. The wind is stronger here than it is on the ground. I wonder why that is. Seems like the perfect weather to fly a kite. Look at the kite this person has. It looks like a dragon. 
Do you want to disturb him? Yes. Sorry. I'm just a boy with his kite. We may not look like much, but we have an unbeatable bond. It's not something just anyone would understand. We'll show you how strong we are when we work together. Uh-oh. I've started a Pokemon battle. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this guy's very tough. Um... Let's do... Let's, let's treat this like a serious fight, just in case. We'll make Omori sad. We'll make the Kite Kid happy. Oh, that's right. I was thinking Aubrey had something, but no. Aubrey needs to make other people happy. She doesn't need to be happy. Oh, he made himself happy. He just loves his kite so much. Because sad beats happy. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, Omori's gonna stab him. <laughs> Just like you do. Oh god. He has a lot of health, I think. We'll see how much this stab does in terms of health percentage. I hate that you can't see their health until you go to target them. Eh, that's fine, it's fine. Okay. Let's let's just keep attacking. Let's try to make Aubrey angry. We'll have a hero heal himself. Oh geez, 75%. Maybe I shouldn't use that just yet. Alright, don't kill anybody, kite kid. Okay, she's gonna look at Kel and it's gonna make her mad. Oh, they both feel angry. Is that- is that only a chance to happen? I'm actually not sure. Aubrey's gonna do a headbutt. Kel is actually gonna do... Rebound, and then Hero will heal Omori. Yeah, Omori's getting wrecked. <laughs> okay, that was good. We've almost got this kid half dead. A little over half dead. Is Kel- can Kel do anything when he's angry? No, not really. We'll just hit both people. Oh, Everyone's dead except for Omori and Kel. <laughs> uh oh. The bottom bar is kind of like a power-up meter. Where we can, if we have everyone alive, and we reach 10, um, we can unleash a group attack, but I think everyone needs to be alive. The wind, it's getting weaker. Oh god, what do we do? Uh, what's, how, what's he got left? That kite wrecked us, jeez. Alright, Kel's gonna need a snack. Oh. Do we not have any sn Oh. What? Why did it start us at the bottom of the list? Eat some bread, Kel. We got it for killing an enemy. Uh-oh. We're dead. Amori did not succumb. I don't think it's good enough, though. Uh... All right, let's just wipe it. We're dead. As the wind predicted, me and my kite are unbeatable. 
That was such a tough attack. It one hit Aubrey. I don't think she had taken any damage. Alright, and then for this we don't retry because we want to reload. For whatever reason, instead of letting you start at a load, the retry starts the battle over again. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if we get anything for, for beating up this, this random kid. Um, okay. Well, that's all that's up here. That and the ghost with, oh, with the propeller hat and these bunnies. Also, I have some uh, water with the crystal light flavoring in it, and I didn't realize how much it would look like blood. This game doesn't have a lot of blood in it, but... It does have, like, horror vibes. But yeah, if, if you see these little, um, like, speech bubbles that come up when, when everyone attacks, you can use three of your, like, party meter points um, to do an extra move. Or you can save it, and then if you get to ten, you can do a cool group attack. I haven't been... <laughs> I haven't been disciplined enough to really even do it. I think we did it once as part of the tutorial, and then every other time, someone dies. And, uh, it, it wouldn't let me do it when someone was dead, so I think you need the whole team. Alright, so we went up... Oh! I, that bunny almost got me, I didn't even see him. I think we go this way to get to the train station. Oops. It's no, it's not in there. Dang it. Hello, Mario! Happy Tuesday, or I suppose Wednesday. We're just kind of blundering around. <laughs> For a while I forgot what I was supposed to do next, and now that I remember that we're supposed to find the train, uh, I can't remember how to get there. But I think we're close. Birdski! We were just raided by Birdski. Unbelievable. Two oh, Hero learned a move called Smile. We'll see what that does after I say hello. Hello, Verdsky. Thank you for getting the shout out. I'm gonna do this one too. We'll do the, the proper Twitch one. How was the rest of Dredge? I love Dredge. <laughs> It's making me itch to play it again, watching you play, but uh, I'm waiting until the DLC comes out. Then we're going to do another another run through. Oh, you were talking a bit about my fishing game? My fishing game that basically I have like a bulleted list of some features I want and nothing else designed at all. <laughs> I'm excited though. I'm excited. It's nice to start a new project. I was getting so... Just like, like it's not burnout, that's not the right word, but it's like the closest thing where you just work on one thing for like ever and you just want it to be done. <laughs> you're probably not doing very good at dredge, but you're spending a little time grinding some upgrades and running away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what I would do in your position, but I played it, so... <laughs> I will not say my advice until you ask for it, but I think you're doing great. That that particular zone is definitely my least favorite uh, because the monster is, is just very annoying. Um, if it's any consolation, uh, the other zones are not as annoying <laughs> if, you, if you can make it. Um, but hello everybody, I'm Svalian, uh, also known as Sava. Uh, we're playing Omori today, which I will say straight up, it is a horror game uh, at the beginning, which we are still at the beginning, even though we've been playing this for days. Uh, it's very, very lighthearted and, and cute and fun, but it does get pretty dark 
um, at the end. So it deals with uh, suicide, self-harm, um, phobias, anxiety, depression. It's like a big, a big mess of, of scary topics that are not like traditionally like, like there's not monsters and blood. It's, it's scary in a different way. But if, uh, if anyone doesn't want that in their life, um, no hard feelings. Uh, but if, if it matters, I don't think we're going to encounter anything too scary very soon anyway, but it's, it's hard to say because I have played before, but I don't remember exactly the order everything goes in. I ex actually, I haven't played it. I keep saying that by accident. I've seen, I've seen playthroughs. This is my first hands-on playthrough. Um... But yeah, hello, Smokey. Welcome. Feel free to introduce yourself for with your first chat. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now, let's see, hold on. Oh, you got some fat loot. That's good. I'm so excited to see uh, what they've added to Dredge when I replay. And also when, when you're playing, I've, I've been seeing some new things. Because there's, there's been a little content update, and then a slightly larger one, I think, since since I played. They added some fish, um, and then they added, like, like the photographer quest is new, the painter is new. Um, I feel like there was another, like, side quest that they mentioned in the patch notes, but I don't remember, but... There's all this new stuff! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a quest. Uh, I don't think... I don't think Verdsky has met this this quest giver yet, but there was a quest that did have a time limit, but they didn't tell you that there was a time limit. Um, they took the time limit off, which is is good. It's still, it's still the same quest, and it plays out the same, except... Um, there, there's not a secret failure ending that you might get if you take too long. <laughs> and I don't even know how long the time limit was. Even now, I don't know, but we're gonna keep going. We're working on, uh, we're trying to find our friend Basil, who, um, mysteriously went missing after, like, a little... I don't even know how to describe it. was like a little jump scare moment where a, a pit opened up in the floor and like swallowed him whole. Um, but then everyone, whoops, I keep pressing the wrong button. Instead of sprinting, I'm opening the menu. <laughs> um, but everyone sort of woke up and, and they didn't know where he went. They don't remember that scene. So, uh, there's also been, um, we have this dream world, and then we have the real world kind of thing going on. We're not totally sure why this is happening yet, or what what the greater like conflict is. <clears throat> also, there's a lot of talking in this game. A lot of dialogue. I have my water, but I'm still... Uh... Oh my gosh, come on. I need this to advance on its own. There we go. Um, so we got two new skills, actually. We got one... Not for Omori. We got one for Kel. Uh, and it was Curve... Oh, we got Run and Gun, too. We got this last stream, and I don't think I ever looked at it. Do we need this? I know, um... Yeah, let's do run and gun, and then we'll put kill speed up, and then make a foe feel a random emotion. Deals extra damage to foes with emotion. That seems good. The, um, there's, there's a bunch of buffs based on emotion in this game. That's like the main thing. You can make people feel sad or happy or angry. And, uh, depending on how they feel, you are stronger or weaker against them. Uh, let's see. 
Aw, smile. Reduce a foe's attack. Goes first. <laughs> uh, do we want to replace this? Yeah. What does charm do? I forgot. Bow targets hero. Let's do guard instead. I don't think we want hero to be the tank. Because he's like our healer. Alright, let's go. We're trying to find a train station that I was at last stream and then forgot how to get there. There's... is there a map? Pocket? Map? No. If there is a map, I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> also, we went up here before and there was a mystery silhouette of a person up here. I just want to see... Do we see it again? No. That is a one-time only spooky moment. And the music in this game is excellent, which is why it's it's a bit louder than I usually do, but I, I have the ducking on, so I'm hoping you guys can still hear me a lot of the time. I hate these stupid little forest battles. <laughs> and I try to dodge them, but I'm not very good at it. Okay, and then this was like the first couple of mobs we fought, so they're much weaker than us anyway. It's just, it's just a bit annoying. It's not even a challenge. Hello, Spicy. Welcome in. We got some tofu, we got some candy. It's funny that the tofu has almost no health benefits in this game. It gives us like five health back, I think. Ah, finally. Okay, we found the train station. We got a train ticket after helping Space Boyfriend get over his ex. This leaf hates bunnies. Oh, wow. Wait, we've killed 18 bunnies? We have to kill seven more? What number? Is that 31? No. No, it wouldn't be, would it? Why can't I do math? 25. Yeah, okay, that number makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just, like, shorted out trying to do basic math. What tomfoolery is this? I demand you let me see my family at once. Do I look like a tom to you? <laughs> Screaming in my ear ain't gonna make the train run any faster, lady. Is she wearing a fox costume? Wait, is this not, is this not where we need to be? If there's one thing I can't stand, it's line cutters. Mm. I'm so confused. Is this not where we need to be? I think it's clear that it's not, but I don't know where else to go. <laughs> uh, there's no one with a quest. I don't think I can like use items like this. to go down here? We couldn't go to the west because the... because we're afraid of spiders. I wonder if, uh... 
I feel like there would be some sort of indicator for this, but I wonder if I need to talk to them with a different character. Because we did learn we can tag in other teammates now, so they're the line leader. And then they can do different things. But I wouldn't think... I would think if, if that was the case here, they would say like, Hey, let me handle this. Let's try... Hero. Because he's the charming one. Nope, that's the same. Oh right, I forgot Hero was the line leader. <laughs> I got really confused <laughs> about why Omori wasn't in the front. We've talked to everyone in line. And we talked to everyone on the benches too. Alright. I'm gonna explore down this way. We have been over here before. Train station, foggy bridge. Do we know why the train isn't running? I think the train is running. I think we're just waiting for it to get here. <laughs> Maybe we don't go on the train yet? Alright, hold on. Let me just... Okay, apparently we were supposed to go back through other worlds. There was someone there. I get. Wait, actually, didn't we... Mm, maybe we did this. Hold on. I didn't want to remind myself of too much, so I just glanced at it, but maybe because we took the Pluto transit, it messed something up. <laughs> and we were supposed to come back through the normal way. Alright, let's see. We can say hi to Allowance Snake on our way in. Maybe? A long ladder. There he is. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we are. A mysterious silhouette. And the bloody footprints. Oh, where are my friends? My friends are gone. Oh yeah, we couldn't get through here last time. There was something blocking the, the way. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I can eat them forever. Hello, Hannah. We might have a little bit of sad. Did we miss this section, or were we supposed to go around? I hate these zigzaggy hallways. <laughs> we're still young. We should dream big, right? Not the sad. No, I like I like the sad. 
That's why I'm playing this game, so I can feel sad. <laughs> oh. We've got a red light shining from inside the barn. And we saw the red lights when we had a... I don't even know how to describe it. We had like a night terror of some sort in our house in the real world. Oh! Wait. I'm not where I thought I was. Long stairs. Oh man, I'm sorry if, um... If it's doing something bad on stream. F. F. F's in chat. F's in chat. Can I check on this? Also, uh, the first time I saw this scene, I thought the thing at the top was a noose. But it is a black light bulb. Just in case anyone wa was about to feel more sad than uh, they really had to. A happy family. Again with the pixel art though, you just can't tell what you're looking at. <laughs> F. And we have uh, what looks like a music stand. Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. Oh, a happy family. I think they've been scribbled out too. I don't know if I can do anything else here. Oh, there it is. A little, a little jump scare. And we're back in white space. This is where we started the game. And uh, every once in a while we reach a point in the story where we come back here. On our laptop we can see this, this hangman game that we're doing. We found some of the letters. If anyone, if anyone knows what it says, uh, of course no spoilers. Um, but there are the letters if you want to guess what what the text is at the bottom. We have found A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then I feel like we found one way at the end, but I can't remember. <laughs> I don't think... I think they're roughly in order, uh, but I don't think they are in in like a, a determined, de determinant order? Is that the word I want? Determine it. Yeah. I don't think you hit them the same every time you play. Um, if you do different things. Here's Miwo. Waiting for something to happen. Here's a tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. We have our sketchbook. Why D and F aren't highlighted? It's because they weren't, uh, used in the string of text. Um... Basically, only the highlighted ones are, like, correct guesses, but there's no, um, there's no penalty for, like, guessing wrong, because they are just, like, collectibles. <laughs> they don't, they don't give you a game over if you collect the keys in the wrong order. Uh, that would be a little mean, I think. Alright, all these pictures look the same. Oh man, I'm all stuffy again. It's been very cold and rainy. Okay, so this this showed up the second time we came to White Space. It wasn't there at first, but everything else looks the same. We have this light bulb, which looks like it's doing something different. Or did it always do this thing? 
It doesn't say anything different, so that's probably fine. And we're walking. We might have to do something drastic to get out of here. We've done it before. But I'm just exploring a bit to see. I don't see anything. These are... These things will, like... Well, they, they don't really do anything that bad. They just, like, send us back <laughs> to the center. Ad break after you type the question at the end. Oh, if you miss the answer, well, I don't know if you're back yet. Now that I'm looking, it does say that there's 40 seconds left on an ad, so I'll wait. Um, okay, I think there's only one way out. Oh, <laughs> I mean, if you can hear me uh, now, first we'll, we'll get out of white space, um, but the the faded letters just aren't used in the sentence, so they're they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them, but we found letters that didn't fit in the hangman guess, if that makes sense. Um, but I also mentioned there's no penalty for, like, finding letters that don't match. Um, they're just, like, collectibles. Uh, okay, so we're, we need to get out of white space. We don't have any anything else we can interact with, so... Uh, we are going to stab. I wonder if they- I feel like they make you wait longer for it to happen. Sometimes. <laughs> to make it more dramatic. <clears throat> All that time? Or at that time, I saw everything. When you stood here before, did you see it too? Something behind you? I love these little animated segments and all the all the combat animations. So cute. Three days left. Okay, now we're in the real world. Good morning. I got an achievement for waking up in the morning. So this would be, this is the first time it's not night. Uh, let's see. We have a new message. Also, canonically, we do not have power to the house. But somehow we were able to get a message on the phone and also use the microwave to heat up some steak that made us sick. <laughs> so I don't... I guess I don't know. I don't think the developers really considered what it would mean for the house to not have power other than the lights being off. <laughs> hey, Sava, it's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of a big furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain. I don't know how old we're supposed to be in this, um... But the idea that not only has our mom left us here in this house, we're preparing to move. Um, that was introduced earlier in the game. But the, but mom has left us here um, alone in the house with only one microwave steak to eat and uh, no power. And she can't even like come back to say <laughs> to check in and say hi because she needs to go shopping. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? Not only that, she's going to be shopping for several days. <laughs> After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Yeah, so there is this distinction between Omori, who we could not name, 
And then this character who is um, by default called Sunny, uh, we have renamed him to Saba. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, even though they are obviously meant to be the same character, you know, they have the same design, same face shape. Um, this one is in color outside the dream world and then Amori is in the dream world. Oh, we've got a knock on the door, and this time it's probably not, uh, something spooky. Hello? Hello? Sava, are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Kel. We know Kel. So I, uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house. And I heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? What would you like to do? We're gonna open the door. <laughs> no one is here. Come back later. <laughs> And Desper, you had asked about if there were different, like, storylines. One of the storylines that I have actually never seen played out is if you don't open the door <laughs> for Kel, if you just tell him to go away. I have no idea what happens if you do that, but I know it's, like, different enough um, to, like, warrant its own path through the story. Whoa, you actually came out! Uh, I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know. Let's go to Hobbies. <laughs> it's the hobby shop in Faraway Plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Alright, we have one of our friends. A for sale sign with a big red sold sticker on it. In three days, you'll be moving somewhere else. Alrighty. Wait, hold up. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. But I want to say hi to Dog. Please let me say hi to Dog. <laughs> Look at his tongue. <laughs> oh wait, come over to the fence. I actually don't know the way to hobbies. We gotta stop and, and look both ways before crossing the street. It's on- it's in the town plaza north of here. Okay. Okay. There's a park. Is there no music? I guess there's like an ambient whooshing noise. I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. <laughs> oh, look, space boyfriend's up there. <laughs> On top of hobbies. Well, here we are at hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, sweetheart movies, and a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. <laughs> so you can see uh, where the dream world elements are coming from. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? <laughs> Perfect. No, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift. Let's look around and see what there is. Alright, we got some records. Oh, CDs. These CDs look pretty cool, but I 
think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. We got some... Dolls? I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero would get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. Chock full of comics? It's just like old times. Hero was never too interested in comics, though. Oh, just more comics. A poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds? Nothing you haven't seen? <laughs> That's funny. A vending machine? A game called Captain Space Boy's Space Adventure? It costs a dollar to play? Oh. Can you actually play it? I don't know if I've seen anyone do that. DVDs? Uh, what's this? A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. <laughs> Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. <laughs> he definitely won't appreciate something like this. What about a Captain Space Boy cardboard cutout? No? Not even gonna ask? A poster for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. Oh, is this it? This is perfect. Papa's chips, Papa chips, chip off the old block cookbook. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a mouthful. Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? $20? This is extortion. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Can you spot me? I'll pay you back, I promise. Do I have $20? Hey, shopkeep, we'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Kel, how you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around. Ah, that's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block cookbook. <laughs> my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. Did I just have $20? Okay, sure. Where, where do these kids get $20 from? What's this? A toy capsule m machine. I have ten more dollars. I don't know... I don't know what I need to, to spend my money on. Kid, you did not have twenty... I know, me neither. So, where you want to go now? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about Faraway Park? Yeah, the park. <laughs> Kel is leaving me here. We passed by it on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah. I just want to talk to this guy first. Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the town plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. Let's give him a dollar. Hmm. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play you an original song. It's the same one as the stationary musician in uh, the the other one. I don't know. I guess there's probably a name for the dream world, but I don't remember what it is. It might be called Headspace. Okay. We have heard the song before, but it feels rude to just leave before he's done. Alright. Clap, clap, clap. Excellent song. Goodbye. <laughs> Other Mart. Drink orange juice. Have you ever heard the phrase, orange is the happiest color? No? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. 
It has vitamin C, which is essential for a healthy immune system. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. Consume! <laughs> Do I want to buy some orange juice? No? Yes? Maybe? Also, I see these. Trash. We got some trash. Oh, there's trash up there, too. Look at all this trash. We're just stuffing it all in our pockets. Alright. We're gonna go to the park. There's a lot to explore in Faraway Town, but... I'm gonna try and stay mostly on the main path. Oh, who's that? Uh, just, just so the game doesn't take 70 hours to finish. Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh, there's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her your, yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Also, I like how Kel has read this situation. The, the person on the scooter was facing away from Basil. <laughs> Leaving. And apparently that's bullying. Oh, it's just Kel. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh. Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Who is it? Who do we know who has a baseball bat? Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her. I'll tell her. Sava's here? It's me. I'm standing in an open clearing at the entrance to the park, but apparently we can't see that far. <laughs> wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Hmm, whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. Oh, don't push Basil. Hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ugh, come on, we've got to do something. We're gonna fight her. Are you guys really picking a fight? She does have a baseball bat with nails in it. The two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the both of you. It's an interesting track for this one. Uh, we do have... A weapon. Encourage. And then guard. Let's encourage. Oh, geez, she hits hard. Gah! What the? Is that a knife? I had to attack her. Oh shoot, Aubrey, are you okay? You're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. I'll get you back for this. I probably shouldn't have attacked her with a knife. She deserved it. <laughs> Technically, it was Kim who pushed Basil down. Whoa, that was about to get really messy. 
Good thing you had your knife. <laughs> Wait a sec, give me that. <laughs> it was only a steak knife, though. That's probably worse. They're like... Sh kind of shitty and serrated. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this. That's dangerous. You you said it was a good thing. <laughs> Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Oh, poor Basil. We found you, Basil. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Hell. I don't know if you noticed, but Sava's here too. Say hi. <laughs> oh, hey, Sava. It's been a while, hasn't it? Haha. Uh -huh. Woohoo! <laughs> what a happy reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Basil's crying. Uh, we have we haven't left our house in three years. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My um my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh, all right then. Thank you. All right, let's, uh, oh. I really cramp up my style. I can't do any exploring because we have to go here and there and everywhere. Wait, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Who is that? I can't go over there. Basil will yell at me. We'll have to come back and see why these people are... I don't even know where those masks... This game already has some very dark themes. Oh look, it's a wormhole! Oh, it was just a hallucination, I guess. Is this... Nope. Yeah, well we're in the real world now, so anything could happen. There's a cat over there. Hello, cat. Meow. That's not it. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing my best, Kel. Is this it? Okay. With all the flowers, that makes sense. There's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. <laughs> Wait, please don't go. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Ah, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album. Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she, she won't give it back. What a scumbag. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. We've got you covered. Ah, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Poor Basil. Well, I'll see you later. Come on, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why we would need to check the park for clues. When we know... We used to be friends with Aubrey. We know where she lives, I'm pretty sure. Why would the park have clues? Oh, look, another cat. How do you get up there? Kitty. A jungle gym. The orange cat looks hungry. Feed it some fish? I don't have any fish. 
We gotta find some fish for this cat pronto. <laughs> yeah, I um I probably shouldn't have hit her with the knife. Okay, let's see. What what are these people's deal? Recycultist. We are recycletists, followers of the holy bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, and recycle. I don't think I've ever seen these guys. <laughs> all must accept that they are trash. How funny. Alright, let's see. What? Jock. Oh, hey, what's up? What are you doing here, Kel? You from this part of town? Oh, whoa, I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. This is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. Eh, I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Kel? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun, but maybe another time. My childhood friend Sava here is leaving town in the next few days. So we're hanging out all day today. Yeah, we we know... I think we can guess that Kel's a jock. Because he's, he's shown with holding a basketball often. And uh, all of his skills in the dream world are like running around and throwing stuff. <laughs> you got trash. The stench of this man is indescribable. Hey, bub, could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. Alright, let's give him a dollar. Calling him the smelly hobo is a little mean. <laughs> An artist is diligently sketching away. Whoa, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Ah, oh, hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing, but it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Yeah, but I don't think we need to make random artists sell their art for money. <laughs> I'd buy that from you right now. <laughs> Thanks, that's nice of you, but it's not for sale. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Mincy. I'm Kel, and this is Sava. Mincy. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Oh, that's very sad. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way, I don't believe that at all. I think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sava believe in you. Yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. Well, that was nice. We helped that random person feel a little better. Pretty boy. <laughs> no, he's, he's like sparkly. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're all trash. <laughs> we are all trash. It's right. It's right. It's true. This pretty boy gave us a bandage. Thank you, pretty boy. Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this town. Oh, I see more trash. Alright. I'm gonna get this and we'll turn in this trash. I see a picnic basket, too. And this guy jogging next to the fruit cart. Robo Steph just subscribed for 38 months. Hello, Robo Steph. Thank you so much for the 38 month sub. Oh, we get money for the trash. That's even better. I thought I was just doing a good deed. I hope you're doing well. Apple guy. <laughs> Drink apple. Okay, he's going to give us the same spiel. Drink apple juice, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. The same concept applies to apple juice. 
It doesn't really. It doesn't really. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Got a lot of sugar in it. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Did we get him unbanned? Let's see, unban. Is this right? Wow, it really did just remove? Usually there's like those little deleted messages, but I'm not even seeing those. And I have the little mod icons on. You hit unban? Okay. Is there, um, like a timeout <laughs> on top of the ban? I have accidentally banned people just like misclicking and I felt so bad. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's okay. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> is that orange juice you have there? That is garbage. Don't drink that stuff. What? He threw away my orange juice? Would you like to... No! You stole my app, my orange juice. Oh, didn't he pay for the orange juice? Oh, what's going on over here? Hmm, looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? Why is this tree shaking? <laughs> you know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? And where now? What'd you do that for? Ah, if it isn't Kel and that weird knife guy. <laughs> That's me. Weird knife guy. <laughs> yeah, we forgive you, Desfert. It happens. And it's so easy when you have the the buttons activated, like, sometimes I will try to click on someone's name <laughs> to see, um, to see, like, if they've chatted before, how long they've been following, things like that, uh, mod stuff, and then, um, it's so close to the buttons every once in a while, um, I accidental... Something. Ban, timeout, whatever. Delete message. <laughs> uh, if it isn't Kel and Weird Knife Guy, we're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. Or possibly on hell. I never know. Uh, I've known real people who were named both angel and on hell. And so I never know which one is right. <laughs> I'll just go with angel so I don't have to keep being confused. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know, but first you must best me in battle. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. <laughs> you won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's sick him, Charlie. Charlie does not seem real jazzed about the fight. Uh, oh, he has angel wings on his shirt. Alright. We're just gonna fight him, I guess. Does Kel still have my knife? 
teleports. Jeez. Uh, Kel's probably gonna die. No, oh, my attack can't go any higher. Charlie is standing there. <laughs> so this is your first day out of your house in three years and you've already been in two fights? I'm going through some shit. It'll make sense, maybe. <laughs> I like how an attack is throwing the, the basketball. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Oh. Char Charlie's standing there. I like Charlie's flower belt buckle. Alright, I think we win this one. You, you'll pay for this. <laughs> well, we didn't literally kill them. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. Okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere. In faraway town, probably. <laughs> Dang it, Angel, you better not be messing around. I told you I'd tell you what I know, and the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. What? You can't do that, that's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my, ma my master, the Maverick. <laughs> He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The Maverick? Oh no, you mean that weird kid? Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name. <laughs> on the system you're fixing, you register forms. And based on the charge selected, it will summon court for it. With a very quick misclick, you could dismiss mandatory court? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I would hate having that kind of power to accidentally mess something up like that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find uh, the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. <laughs> Gonna blackmail him real quick. Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at Faraway Plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> Ew, girls. Disgusting. Alright, I think we've explored everything at the park. Let's see if I can remember. Is the. Okay, good. The plaza's just here. I'm not gonna get lost. And then I told him, it's not Maverick, it's THE Maverick. <laughs> oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Wow, what an amazing story, the Maverick. <laughs> Girls, please, there's enough of me to go around. <laughs> He's like Gary. Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah! A little hair flip. If it isn't Kel. My arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her? <laughs> Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me. I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Okay, fight number three. <laughs> I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you wad. <laughs> Don't be a chicken. <laughs> you calling someone a wad? 
Are we really gonna do this? Okay then, come on. Let's take him down. I like how Kel is like too strong for his own good. Oh, we did not heal. Eh, we'll be fine. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. I like his, um, his headphones with the little ear clippies on him. Uh, can I... Unfortunately, this I don't think works on Kel. It only heals me. Maybe we can have Kel eat a snack. Oh no, our orange juice was stolen, so we don't have a snack. The Maverick starts bragging to his adoring fans. <laughs> uh, okay, so I don't have my knife anymore, so I'm just punching people. Uh... Oh, here we go. Kel uses bandage. A good thing, too. We don't have our extra, our special extra moves in this one. Mm, not bad, but this fight is just getting started. Just gonna keep punching him right in the belly. We only had one bandage, didn't we? I hope we can get him down before he kills Kel. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. He might beat us. But that doesn't seem right, because... I've, o I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. I don't- did he change at all? I don't think he did. Uh, do we have- we don't have any other bandages. I don't really want to waste my first aid kit. Oh, his attack whiffed. And just keep- just keep punching him. I wish more of his attacks would whiff. I bet you're regretting your decision now. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's only a matter of time before you tire yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Alright, I think we can take a couple more hits. Okay, his attack whipped again. I don't think he- I don't think he does beat us. I'm just- I don't know for sure, but I think it's a scripted win. I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. No, this is impossible. Improbable. Absolutely inconceivable. Got him. I think. <laughs> He's wheezing. <laughs> no, I won't let it end like this. Like someone from Yu Yu Hakusho? Is it not Yu Yo Hakusho? I don't know, I've never seen it. I've just heard of it. <laughs> it can't be over for me, people of Earth. Lend me your strength. Hiya! <laughs> Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten dollars. Let's get out of here. Ladies, please come back. I have more money. Oh, dude. Oh, his wig fell off. Mikhail, there is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you, on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. 
<laughs> I don't think he's bald. I think he just... He, I think he's just posing as a different person. I think his hair is just brown or something. You actually got that uh, Dragon Ball Z reference? Which reference? Was it, this isn't even my final form? Because I think that's just like, it's, it's gone beyond whatever its source material is and it's just become a general internet meme, I think. Her and Vance are major sugar heads, so I have a hunch they're probably somewhere near candy. <laughs> oh, the people of Earth lend me your strength? Okay. I didn't know- I, I don't know that one. I did watch Dragon Ball Z as a kid. I don't remember a single part of it. If we talk to this guy... No. As long as you're not buying any apple juice. We should have never talked to the apple juice guy. Is the candy shop in the grocery store? Oh, there's a picture of candy on the window. Gosh, my nose is so stuffy. Hmm, knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. I wonder where they could be. <laughs> oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance, let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. <laughs> hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd, Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? Miss Candace is the lady at the candy shop. I thought I told you to never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. What? Does this person have like an Animal Crossing catchphrase? There's a bad guy on Yu Yu Hakusho that says something like that and then he uses 100% he transforms to develop 20 abs, 4 biceps, 8 chests, 6 shoulders, and 4 eyebrows. <laughs> that sounds funny. I don't think I've seen that. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine, here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance, let's get out of this dump. Wait, did Vance give up his stolen candy? Haha, <laughs> serves you right. Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? His little face. Crowley, why are you breathing so hard? What's going on? Did you run here? Oh, come on. Let's follow them. Alright. Um. Cute girl. Welcome. We hope our candy makes you smile. I told you. Curtsy. It's smiley. Oh, it's like, uh... It's like a store catchphrase. Yes, ma'am. Hold up one sec. I think I have an idea. Are we gonna bribe them? Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. Alright, where'd they go? You gotta sniff them out, Kel. I don't know where they went. Oh. Apparently they're right here. <laughs> Sorry, Vance. No candy today. 
No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. Also, I think Vance has a goatee. Is this an adult man? Wait, Kim, I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I will give you this big bag of candy. <laughs> really? The whole bag? I mean, wait, you can't just buy us off of candy. What do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. <laughs> and there's a whole bag right in front of us. They're like drug addicts. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? <laughs> Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay, I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw, really? I was sure that would work. <laughs> Poor Kel. Wait, please, Kim. You're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. We even have taffy in here. Did someone say taffy? I see. That changes everything. Uh-oh. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. Fight number four. <laughs> I don't think Kel has healed. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put him up, you two. What is with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, you know the drill. Can be for Taffy? <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, in the drawing, he's only got a little bit of... A little bit of facial hair, not like a full goatee. Alright, so we want to... Let's attack Vance first, I guess. We've got this first aid kit. They did a lot of damage. Oh, this is Omori. I want to get... Oh, jeez. They have so much health! Maybe we lose this one all the time. Maybe you can't win this one. Okay, Kel's gonna guard. <laughs> Ching! <laughs> oh, he's dead. He doesn't turn to toast out here. Whew, what a big hit! Alright. We're dead! You guys never stood a chance. So, uh, can we get that taffy now? No, you don't get the taffy. That wasn't part of the deal. Nerd, lose to Kim and Vance. Maybe we were supposed to do that. Come on, Kim, we gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Wait, don't go. Please, Kim. I know you know where Aubrey is. She took something really important from Basil. I get that you guys are friends and stuff, but even you gotta admit that Aubrey goes too far sometimes. Please, we're just trying to help a friend. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asked who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Mikhail or something. <laughs> Alright. Aubrey's at the church. So, of course, you know, the... The most responsible and friendly thing to do is go interrupt Aubrey at church. <laughs> well, at least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Also, that was like a dinner bell, right? 
Do they just have evening church? <laughs> I don't know where the church is. We're gonna wander till we find it. Road closed. We'll go fast. Is it this way? Can I say hi to your dog now? No. Come on! He's right there! Okay, I can't go that way. Let's save. Is it this way? I can't cross- I can't jaywalk. I have to use the crosswalks. <laughs> How irritating. Alright. Wait, that was trash we could have picked up. Was a- What? I want to go pick up the trash. Oh, I guess only this one we can pick up. Okay, those ones are decorative bags of trash. <laughs> Is this a motorcycle? Oh no, it's a bike. I guess that makes more sense. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Do we want to do that? Hold on, let's wait here until the sermon is over. Is the sermon gonna be over? sermon's gonna be over. <laughs> I think I have to walk in here and, and see what's up. Oh, it's okay. Almost no one's here. We're barely interrupting anything. Whoa, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. I don't know if I whisper if it will catch up on the mic. <laughs> oh, I can only tiptoe. Now, who are those people who walked in all in a row? Aubrey. Aubrey. She's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Kel, exactly. We used to be friends. Oh. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. Heh, <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. When Mari passed on... We were all dealing with our own stuff. 
We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Cal. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. Aww. We shouldn't be having this argument in a church. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. We would be getting shushed so hard. <laughs> I've actually never been to a church. Like, I've been in one for like a wedding and like a, a funeral, but I've never been to like a sermon. It sounds like I'm getting like choked up, but my voice is just sort of crapping out on me. <clears throat> Let's see if I can make it another another few minutes. <clears throat> when Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. Crowley, are you sad? Are you sad about Mari? You, we haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot changes in four years. You and Sava think you can just barge back into my life and, and tell me what to do. Crowley, it's not time to play fetch. <laughs> Go lay down. What are you doing? Lay down. You're really spoiling the mood here. Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. Hmm, the Aubrey you knew is long gone, and the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief. Everyone is watching. What's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well. Oops. Yeah, we ruined her, her church time. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully, here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. <laughs> okay, fair. Fair. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick. Or I'll come at you first. We're dead. We didn't heal. Uh, run? <laughs> Why is the run option here? We can literally never use it. Uh, let's calm down. Encourage. I'm very good at managing my emotions, as you can tell from the fact that I haven't left my house in three years. Look at her clothing. It is completely inappropriate for church. Oh, people are still gossiping about Aubrey. Ooh, I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. Can I just keep calming down? Oh, we're dead. We're dead! Serves you right, Kel. Now leave me alone. Ah, oh, her father left. Everyone's gossiping about Aubrey.
Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, it was a bad idea. I actually don't know if you can uh, not do that scene. I don't know if you if you pick don't go in the church. I don't know if it lets you just skip it. This song always makes me feel sad when I hear it. It's like the end of the day song. <laughs> and it sounds so sad. Oh, Aubrey lives in the trash house. Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go, let's go check it out because we haven't done enough damage already. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now and it only took us half a day. Talk about teamwork. Talk about teamwork, how about a high five? <laughs> we traumatized this poor grieving girl. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't want to deny Kel's high five, but also I want it on the record that I don't think we should be high fiving. <laughs> Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Alright, now if I can remember where Basil lives, is it just right up here? Oh, was it to the right? I think it was to the right. There's only like six screens for the town, um, but I, I just can't remember where everything is. Is this not it? Who's this? Hello? Yellow bun granny. Excuse me, sorry to impose, but you look like some trustworthy people. You think you can help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Okay. Thank you, children. He'll understand. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this pharmacist will just let any random kid off the street pick up this old lady's prescription? That doesn't seem good. Alright, let's go get this prescription real quick if we can get there. I don't know if it will let me. But if I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. All right, I think the pharmacy is in here. Oh, it's the artist. Hey, stranger, what you drawing this time? Hi, um, Kel and Sava, was it? Sorry, I'm not so good with names. I'm just trying to draw some fruit, but I'm not so good at it. Yes, you are. I don't like fruit very much, but I'd eat those for sure. Ah. Keep going, you got this. That's nice. Is there something... I thought I saw something sparkling up on the shelf, but I guess it was my imagination. We look so trustworthy, yeah. The kid with the knife and the kid in the sports outfit that just carries around a basketball every day, everywhere. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring it right out. You got Granny's medicine. I'm not actually supposed to give out medication like this, but usually I make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Alright. I guess if we're gonna... 
we're gonna understand that this is uh, a special case. <laughs> Can I get some band-aids? <laughs> I need like 10 band-aids. I just keep getting beat up. In fact, we're probably still dead. Yeah, look at that. Look at us. We're having a hard time. Why is the band-aid a toy? Alright, we'll give Kel the first aid kit since he's got so much help. Alright, here we go. Whoops. I don't know why I keep getting the sprint button mixed up with the menu button. Okay. Now I gotta remember where Granny lives. What? You shouldn't walk in the street, that's dangerous. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't, I promise. It, wait, was it down here? Oh no, that's Basil's house. I messed up. <laughs> okay, so now we know where Basil lives, but we need to give, give this old lady her medicine first. I don't know what kind of medicine it is, but I'm assuming it's important. Oh, you came back! <laughs> All the other hoodlums I told to get my prescription just took off with the drugs! <laughs> Excuse me, thank you so much. You've been a big help. It's nice to see the youth helping us old folks. You are all welcome to my home at any time. Wow. Can I just go in? We got any loot in here? Also, she's got a wheelchair. She can't just wheel down to the store. Wait. I turned on the TV, so she's just sitting here? A state-of-the-art slow cooker. Can I take these cans? No. I just want to take them to recycle for the recycled. Hmm. Oh wait, what does she have awards for? Oh, it won't tell me what she's got awards for. I want to know what she did. She used to be a pro tennis player. That's the headcanon I've got. Oh. Well, who's this? Creepy guy. If you are bolstering why I'm so much more pandemic than you are, it's solely due to my philosophy major. My tenure has led me to my most elephantine discovery of all. Everyone is a hundred, no, maybe with a thousand years too early in time to comprehend my genius. Pithy me no more with your occupancy. You can't perceive anything I interject into your cerebrum anyway. <laughs> Never seen this guy before. Why yes, that peripheral you ponder over there is my duly betrothed. <laughs> I'd appreciate if you keep your optical appendages in their sheaths. She assimilates my confab better than anyone. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart and we love each other. Is it? Sweetheart? We haven't officially met Sweetheart yet, but... We've seen a lot of uh, pictures of her and talked about her a lot. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I have never seen this guy before. Alright, what else? What other secrets can we find in here? Wow, two wheelchairs. Wheelchairs are expensive. A wheelchair for upstairs. A work desk. Uh, 
Okay, I can't look in this mirror. I don't think we looked in our own mirror because the door was being knocked on, so we didn't really look around the house too much. That's cute. Oh wait, was that a little love letter? Hmm, who could it be for? I don't know, I don't know whose room this is. Alright, bye Granny. Good luck with the creepy guy living in your house. I don't know if they address who he is or why he's there. Alright, now I think we're getting close to a, a stopping point. Oh, this kitty's on the roof. Hello, kitty. We don't have any fish still. Knock knock, Basil! It's your friends, Kel and Sava! Where's Basil? Oh, hello there, who are you? Hi! Oh, wait, you're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry, my name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. What? <laughs> what a creepy way to stand. Oh, hey Kel, what is it? Hi Basil, we got your photo album back. Huh, you did? Wow, thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, free dinner. <laughs> oh, that's exactly it. It's even a blonde character like Basil. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Ah, uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, now that we got your photo album back, we can go through all the photos together. Ah, that's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure. Okay. What's going on, Basil? You can talk to us. It's okay, we're buddies. Here it is. Aww. My first photo. It's my best friend, Sava, trying out his new violin. I should have left it as Sunny. It's tripping me up. <laughs> it's tripping me up because it's not like a custom character. It is just the, the character that like belongs in the story, which is not me. <laughs> He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Whoops. Sava playing a video game on the couch. Sava's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Oh, Basil vented. <laughs> I saw it. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. You challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof, sorry Kel, better luck next time. And we see some of the pictures are the same, because there is a Dream World photo album, uh, but not all of them are exactly the same. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sava a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Aww. It's all of us cuddling with Sava's stuffed animals. 
So cute. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sava and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so too. Hiro's still making his flower crown. It's taken him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. I like how shopkeep seems to be the, the person's name. <laughs> it's like capitalized. Like a name. <clears throat> it's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. Oop. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. Orange Joe. <laughs> this this picture is so cute and I've actually seen this picture as um, people's profile picture before. Not knowing what it was from. We buried Sava in the sand. It took forever but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. <laughs> I guess I'll keep him company until then. I like the little blushies. Yay, Sava is turning 12 today. So we know when this photo was taken, it was 12. I guess that would make three or four years later it'd be 15 or 16. That's not so bad to leave your kid home alone. You should probably leave them with food though. <laughs> Even though me, Sava, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sava is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Oh, good. Keep yawning. Sava holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiro got Sava a giant building block set. Sava seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's kitten, Miwo. There's Miwo! Saba won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. <laughs> I guess this box will be Saba and Miwo's new home. <laughs> Miwo! We're going beetle catching today. This is the thing I never understood. Every anime and, like, you know, Animal Crossing like, catch all the bugs and do what with them? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a thing. Oh, I, f I didn't see Sunny, aka Sava, in the background. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. <clears throat> It's the first day of school today. Me, Sava, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Goodbye, Summer. Aw, oh, look at all of them. Until next year. That's the last one. We are done looking at the photo album. We have experienced all of our memories. Oh man, it looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We have to go- we'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year I'll finally be the taller brother. Anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sava will take care of things for you. 
You just focus on getting back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook. Oh, that would be lovely. Please, follow me in the kitchen. The kitchen is this way. You can literally see it. It's right there. Alright. Uh, can we look at anything? Oh, hi, Sava. He's watching me walk around. Um, should we save here? I wonder if my voice is basically at its limit. <laughs> oh, you can look in this mirror. A book on plants pretty far away from the toilet for bathroom reading. Oh, his grandmother's here. Basil, is that you? A beautiful flower, a white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Ooh, symbolism. Oh. Oh, Sava, I didn't expect to see you in here. How are you doing? Is everything okay with you? Okay, then never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know? She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around. Even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time... I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Oh, Kel's yelling. <laughs> Dinner's ready. <laughs> okay, coming. Hazel's camera, it looks really dusty. Alright, I think we're gonna save here. Because I don't remember when the next breaking point is, so I don't want to start another conversation, because it is almost 9.30. It's well past my uh, end of stream time, so we'll pick up right here tomorrow and uh, keep going. I, can't, I couldn't remember what I wanted to do on the screen. <laughs> Let's just go to the title. All right.